Hey guys, it's Tash. How are you all going? I'm just going to give you a quick little update about how my Stitchy Week is going. I've been working on Queen of the Seas. I know you've seen this uh, a few days ago. So I had a bit of a nip crisis, nipple crisis. Um, <laughs> I decided I wanted to put nipples on her because she just looked weird with an empty chest. And at first I did the nipples in this this darker red that's at the top of the anchor here and this darker red in the flowers here. And <laughs> I thought it would look really nice and natural because it matches the colour of her mouth and so on, but it looked a bit crazy. It looked a little cray. Um, it was just too much. <laughs> and kind of, if you looked at it, the whole piece from back here, all you would see is these two giant red nips staring at you. So we had a little um, aesthetic change. Did an experiment with this lighter pink, the one in the middle of this flower. Um, you know, for science, a nip experiment. And so this is what we've got here, the lighter coloured nipples, and I think they look much more natural and I'm very happy with it now. I think it looks good. So this is really almost finished. I have to do this line, which is the same as this, and then I need to do another line of Montenegrin stitch. Then I have to do two lines of alphabet letters. And then just the bottom row, which is just some bar bargello, bargello. And then it's done. If I had another two nights on this, maybe even one, one night after tonight, I could finish it. But nope, I won't be able to because tomorrow is the 1st of August and I'll be starting on Nantucket Rose. And I'm very excited about that. I've been dyeing fabric tonight. Um, I have a few options that'll work, but... Um, for various reasons. I just wanted to dye my own. So I did. And I'll show you it tomorrow night when I start it. Um, basically, the um, the blue I had was very uneven linen. Um, and I didn't want to stitch over one on it. So I had a piece of Amsterdam blue in even weave, 28 count even weave. But when I looked at it again, it was just way too dark. Um, so I ordered a piece of light blue um, but it was too light and powdery, so I got some grey dye this afternoon. Actually, it was black, but, you know, if you use black lightly, it turns grey. And I over the blue with grey, and now it's this beautiful um, grey-blue. And it's actually kind of like this colour, DMC926, which is the colour at the top here. And these satin stitches at the top, that's a bit, a bit lighter than that, but it's a nice grey-blue. Um, and I love it, and it's perfect. So yeah, I'll be starting Nantucket Rose tomorrow on that fabric. Over one on 32 count, Lugana or some kind of even weave. And it'll be really nice and I can't wait to start. Um, yeah, so that'll be tomorrow. Let me think. I had a few bits of news to tell you. Right. So, you know, while my mum was away in America, I was looking after her shop and to thank me, she said she's not going to pay me, but she is going to pay for me to attend a class, a stitching class. Um, so she asked me a while ago if I wanted to come to this class, and it's um, at the Crew Goblin in Sydney on the 19th and 20th of August, um, and it is called the Blackwork Needle Case, sorry, Blackbird Needle Case Workshop, and there'll be a picture up on the screen now. Isn't it pretty? So um, the teacher is Marg Light, Margaret Light. Um, I haven't had a class with her, but I've met her a few times at Beating Around the Bush, and her stuff is very nice, especially this one. Um, yeah, so mum said she'll pay for the class and the kit and the accommodation. So we'll be heading up to Sydney on that weekend. And I can't wait. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, there's a bit of pre-work we have to do. So our kits will be coming in the mail this week, I think. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be lovely. This is um, kind of cr cruel wool embroidery sort of thing which I've done a bit of before, but I'm not very good at it, but it'll be fun and nice and pretty. Okay, um, other news in my life is that my brother and sister-in-law, well, they currently live in a house that my dad owns. It's a really nice three-bedroom house with large living areas and so on, but they've just put in an offer on a much larger house, so fingers crossed their offer gets accepted. Um, they're moving into a bigger house so they can have a baby and start you know, a family life. Um, but the reason it's good news for me is because I might get to move into their house because my dad owns the place and it's easier to move your family and then go to market for tenants. So 
Tim and I might move there in the next six to eight weeks as long as Jamie's offer gets accepted. So that'll be exciting too. It'll be great. It's a huge house. Well, it's not huge. It's got three bedrooms. You know, the living area in that house is as big as this entire apartment. This is a small apartment. Um, and then there's a huge formal, formal room at the front, like a reception room, a dining room or something. Um, huge room at the front. And then the three bedrooms out the back big laundry. The laundry we have here is just in a cupboard. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. And we can get a puppy. It's got a backyard so we can have a puppy. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited. So this is all hinging on whether the offer gets accepted and so on, but I see a move sometime in our future. That'll be good. Okay. Last order of business is just an interesting fact about me, or maybe not interesting, but at least a fact about me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll do this one. Um, I slept through an earthquake. <laughs> this was in Seattle, Washington. We had just been to Mount St. Helens that day and we were in the hotel and I was 12 years old maybe. <laughs> and there was an earthquake apparently, but I only heard about it the next morning because I slept through it. It wasn't like buildings falling down or anything, but some things came off shelves apparently. So I don't know. Um, yeah, that wasn't as exciting as it sounded in my head. It's a funny story I tell sometimes. I slept through an earthquake. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow or the next day when I have something to show on Nantucket Rose. I'm very excited to start that. It's beautiful and I can't wait to do it. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. See you tomorrow or some other day. Bye.